So moving forward with the vending and everything there, it's it's continuously improving all the time. You know, we're learning new ways of controlling costs. We're here at Super Bowl just outside of Pittsburgh and I'm standing here with Greg in front of this beautiful Sandvik tooling solution. But why would you even bring this in the shop, man? Well, I was constantly running out of tooling, not having enough or over buying. And at the same time, I was looking to get point of use tooling out in the shop floors. Those are all good reasons to bring it in. And I mean, there's a lot of shops out there facing those issues themselves. So how has the Sandvik Hormon system helped with that? So basically right now I have point of use. So I have this, this, this is basically like our small tool room and it's mostly milling okay. right here. Um, up where we have, we have about 25 lathes here. So I have another vending machine up there strictly for the lathe department. Smart. And then um, we have two other departments, basically small parts and large parts on each, each side of the shop. Yeah. And they have their own little open storage um, vending machines there just a little all-in-one there with open vending and it's keeping it's like uh it's keeping count of what i have in, a, in, a, in that area Got so it. how has that helped you in your role here as shop supervisor i used to spend a lot of my day just trying to make sure we had tooling for jobs doing more purchasing you know i was probably out of five days a week i was ordering tools at least three days a week four days wow. a week that's a know. lot of time yeah so now we have all the tooling here we need. Um, yeah. Outside of the vending orders, maybe once or twice a week, it's a new job, something we're doing new. I'm just ordering specialized tooling for you know, a few jobs here and there. Yeah, so it sounds like now you've got a little more time to focus on the rest of your job that doesn't involve ordering the tooling. And then you can just come in when you have that specialized tooling that right. you need the, the unique item. Yes. So how does it work with these machines? Is there software? How is it to use and set up these machines? It's very simple. It's just, it's very user friendly. If you can operate a cell phone, you could probably operate this thing. You scan your badge. And then from there, you know, you want to pick return. Um, you know, basically you pick the button you want to do. And then depending on how you have it set up, you know, you could have a probe down where they pick a machine or just an area. Um, and then they have like a cost allocation from there. So if you have a router, you know, for every single job, you can scan the back of the router if you have a barcode on it or put in a number and it'll keep track, keep cost, or keep track of cost per job. That sounds really handy. So how have you been able to use, are you using that system right now with the data and everything? We're using a good bit of it, yes. Um, the cost allocation, not so much. I, I, I look at it for a resource group. So okay. for each area, you know, um, in the shop, I can see how much tooling we're, getting, we're using there. Yeah. And it helps me determine then, then you know, you know, if I'm using a lot of tooling, I might be able to go up there and give them a little bit more training, you know, trying to reduce the cost there, push the insert life a little bit further or whatnot. So you get to look at where the costs are going basically and, and highlight training opportunities, advancement opportunities, ways you can support the people that you're here to lead. Yes. So you mean you're not just using the data to go yell and scream at the guys? Uh, we try to avoid that at all costs. I'd rather use it for a learning experience Craig, it sounds like you're on a journey here towards manufacturing excellence. Do I have that right? Yeah, I would say so. So how do you see you can best use Sandvik Cormont on that journey then? So moving forward with the vending and everything there, it's it's continuously improving all the time. You know, we're learning new ways of controlling costs. You know, we can put in tooling and stuff like that, kind of control calibration and stuff like that. So if I have a tool, if I want to put it in the vending and lock it up, yeah. you know, Whenever it's out of calibration, we can lock it down until we can get it out, get it calibrated, and get it put back into service. Um, and then moving forward with Sandvik, um, Machining Insights, we're currently looking into implementing that in, into the shop floor. Um, so really excited about that, see what we can do there. Also, we're doing the uh, recycling program with them for sustainability aspect. You know? Yeah. So all of our used car buyer, you know, recycling through Sandvik for a month get it back out there and repurposing it. That's awesome. Yeah, I think last time I checked, they're actually paying top dollar. So you got a pretty good deal with them. Oh yeah. Very yeah. cool. Well, I'm excited for you guys in your journey with Sandvik. I know a few of the places already, I've got to meet them and interview them around the Machining Insight stuff. I think you guys are gonna really like that journey. I hope so too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. Nice meeting you.